Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottenden from the Flourish Academy. This is episode 523. Hey Robbie. Hey, what's going on? Hey, guess where I'm at? Luke, I strategically <laughs> placed all this. I did. I, like that. <laughs> I did. It's our set. It, it, wait, it, is this on Flourish Academy or members yeah. only? This is this is the big group. This well, is everybody. They need to join members only because yeah. that's been the. I, I'm gonna yeah. caveat. I'm gonna do a little roadway here. Members only is awesome. Thank I love you. answering all the questions in there. Join that. Yeah, because right. you're in their support, technical support I'm for tech, sure. I'm Techie Roddy. And we actually <laughs> had a question the other day, which you were helping with in terms of a hot shoe. That's for a different video. Yes. But anyway, I had some questions for you yeah. because I, it's Christmas time. I have a lot of friends that are getting into photography. They're asking me what camera to buy. I'm steering everyone to mirrorless. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Good. Okay. I like that. So if somebody does not have a camera. I say to them, well, you should check out mirrorless. They say, okay, which one? I say, well, I know that's like the hardest. I know Canon, Nikon, Sony, and Fuji are, I guess, like the big ones. Like Lumix, like yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's. I mean, it like something I I tell because like, if you're a photographer, you probably get the question. Hey, I want to take photos of my kids and stuff like that. Honestly, feel free to give my like, hey, at Robbie on Facebook, message my camera, give them a call. You you'll feel comfortable. We'll take care of them. We'll treat them very very well. And we have something where we have so many questions we ask. Right. So it many depends. tiers. You know, like we never start with price, we always start with features okay. we want and then okay. and then we can figure out what level of camera we want, uh, a gift or something like that. Based on what you need. Yeah, so like like anywhere you, know, you can go as low as three ninety nine, all the way up you know, all up to the big boy league yeah. and stuff like that. But uh, like we have a couple that are super awesome, like Sony has some great ones. Uh, we have a few left of this one Fuji, the X one hundred T at uh, on a, or XT100 at on closeout for like three ninety nine. Oh wow! Like perfect kids camera. Yeah. And then uh, Lumix has been big for us this year. That's really? Like, yeah, because they're like super super small, oh. and they're like they look like they look like a film camera, but right. so tiny. Right. And they have Wi-Fi, and it's a like four forty seven wow. down from like eight ninety nine. So I mean, that's so inexpensive. I know it really is. Yeah. And I I I really like even my sister. Uh, I just got her a new camera, and uh, she's using the Nikon. Uh, Z50, the new, yeah, the new, yes, yeah, the new yes. small one, yeah, which I love. Yeah, it's only it's like nine ninety nine, one little pancake lens, but I feel more comfortable as gifts now for those mirrorless cameras. Yeah. It's because they're smaller. You're gonna take it more places. It has cool things like autofocus, and I don't sell a new camera in the store anymore that doesn't have Bluetooth to send to your phone. Uh -huh. That's the most important. Because everybody wants to, right? They want to share it. Yeah, right. so I, just, I I was talking the other right. day. Sixty percent of my photos now, and I'm an enthusiast, and I take a lot of photos. I edit right on my phone. Huh. Are you using Lightroom Mobile then? I use I use three apps. Okay. I use Lightroom Mobile, Snapseed, yes. and this other app I really like called Filmport. You ever oh, heard that one? No, I don't know that one. You get some artsy, crush the blacks, looks okay. good. You know, you get some real real <laughs> yeah, yeah. film look kind yeah. of. It's really cool. Is that what the millennials are using? That's the yes, okay. yes. That's a, which means I haven't heard us of it. Us millennials, not the boomers, so uh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You know, okay, I want to go back to that Z fifty, the Nikon yeah. Z fifty, which came out a couple weeks ago. One of my closest friends bought it. Yeah. I took it home from here. I taught her how to use it. She is loving that camera. It's a it's a great compliment. Like if you're seeing yes. a seven fifty and uh, or if, if you're a Canon, Canon has one similar to it, the M M200, M6. I, I really recommend. I know it's not the same lens mount, but it's the same menus. Yeah. It, it it's it's the same functionality. You can get the adapter right. for only like hundred bucks or something like that. Yeah, that's what she did. She got the adapter. Yeah, and yeah. It, it's a great way because Nikon and Canon and Sigma and Tamron both released Roadmaster 2020. Guess what's on there? Mirrorless lenses. It oh, says, it's like, okay. It, uh, I wondered about that. Yeah. I mean, like, there's... They're going to make the mount, then. Yeah, like, it, so, it's an it, interesting point. I did not know that. And, yeah, yeah, they, they're all, they're all going to be supporting the new mirrorless mounts. Where, you know, if you just bought a D750 on Black Friday and went down to $9.99, what? Uh, you could pick up so much cheap glass for it. Because, yeah. Because everyone's transitioning to mirrorless. But mirrorless now, if they're coming out with crazy lenses. Yes. And all the companies are focusing on that. So I did, you know what? I'm so glad we had this talk today because I've been meaning to ask you about Tamron with mirrorless yeah. and the mounts. I did Tamron's not last that. six releases were for Sony e mount. Really? And they said they are focusing on, uh, I think they're Fuji, yeah. Canon, and Nikon, and Sony. Sony's their number one right, right now. Right. Sony, Sony's number one in the market share for full frame mirrorless. So really? Yeah. And so they're. Uh, what model number is that? The Sony? Uh, A7 III. A7 III. It's the world's best uh, best selling mirrorless camera. And what does it run body only? Right now, it's because it, it's the world's best selling. They haven't put it on sale. On the yeah, right, app. right. They just did two hundred dollars off. So it's seventeen ninety eight. Okay, that's body only. What is the kit? Uh, two thousand with the kit. Okay, so the funny thing is, I feel like I need it. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't. Have to, 
<laughs> Heather's, Heather's leaving here today with a Sony A7 III. I don't. I don't. I, so I have old D700s that I don't use, obviously. I use my D750. I use my Fuji X-T3. But I, I, I have this theory that there, you can't have too many cameras. It's time to trade in and trade right. off, Heather. Okay, we do trade in, so you can bring it in. We'll, we'll get you out of those mirrors. I'm gonna, What's a mirror? I don't even know what that is. Uh, we're going mirrorless. So, mirror, uh, yeah. And that means Greek. Yeah, that's, without mirror. Yeah, yeah, without mirror. Without like mirror. That. So if somebody comes in, and so I have a lot of professional friends yeah. who have DSLRs, and they're saying, they're asking me, do I need a mirrorless camera? What do you say to that? Well, I... I it's, I asked them if they've had issues, hey, do you like your DSLR? Cool, stick with your DSLR. I think moving forward, if you're staying in the industry and you, you kind of want to stay the latest and you want to get lenses that give you certain looks that you can't just do in post-processing, right. definitely. Hey, do you have a 5D3 or a D750 or a D610 that's giving you focusing issues? Well, that's because you're shooting through a mirror, so where if you switch to mirrorless, that goes away. There's, there's, no, there's no calibration right, anymore. Right, right. It's, just, it, it, it's in focus. It, yeah, it's in focus. The focus is on the sensor, and it's it, it really just because those mirrors shift in there. Sure. The elements shift, and mirrorless corrects for it. So yeah. you, you, it, we really don't see needing calibration or back focusing or front focusing issues. So what I'm saying is, stick your brand, you know, Canon, USR, uh, Nikon Z6, or get a Fuji, and you could adapt these lenses. And I think sooner or later, we're just gonna work our way into those new mirrorless lenses that are amazing. We just got the new, uh, I'll, I'll post a picture in the comments below. We got that new Canon 7200 Yes, I heard, yes. Uh, it's amazing, it's, it's like absolutely phenomenal. It's like this big. We're, and so it's lighter. I should go grab it, I yeah, feel like. Yeah. But it's, it, it's like, it's, it's right. so small. Um, okay, so this you, you, 7200. You have yeah, your, oh your, my gosh. Your bread butter. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely my bread and butter. See, so happy. This one's for her husband. A, uh, this yeah. one's for her 7200. <laughs> yeah. that, that, that's so, the wedding ring for that. It's so heavy. You're married yeah. to it. And, I am married to that lens. You need it. I mean, it's just, it, and it's so freaking okay. small. I do, I did not look this up. What is that running? What's the price on it? It's, it's expensive. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's twenty six hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah, but it's but it's the but the seventy to two hundred like two eight Nikon. The old mount is close to three thousand dollars, isn't it? it? They dropped that down, down on sale to twenty one fifty. All right, okay. And then there's okay. no Nikon Z one yet, but okay. and, and then Tamron has one coming out for Sony. It's seventy five to one eighty two eight. Oh, interesting. And it's smaller than a twenty four seven. So you can carry it around and not need back surgery. It's cool. Yeah. That's the problem. I know. Everybody's getting neck and back problems <laughs> from carrying around yeah. these DSLRs. <laughs> I mean, so do you think that really the like? Do you think like the DSL market is dead or dying or? Well, sales. If you if you look at sales of DSLRs, there you know there, there's they're a down, right, there's a downward right. trend. And uh, well, I have two answers to that. Or one, uh, I still have a lot of customers shooting DSLR just because you can get in at such a friendly price. Yes. Yes. And we, we've been using them for years. Magazine covers are done on DSLRs. Right. National Geographic for the past two decades have yes. been using DSLRs, and there's phenomenal cameras. Right. If you're upgrading from a smaller point and shoot or a cell phone and you do get a full frame DSLR, you're gonna be like, this is insanely awesome. Yeah, yeah. So course. I think at certain price points, D seven fifty nine ninety nine, that's 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 a it's a hit if you that's your first full frame camera. Yeah, right. And so I I I think it's I think we're gonna see in my source uh, you know specifically, we're gonna be really transitioning to mirrorless right I think in Year two years, we probably eighty percent mirrorless. Yeah, here. I wondered. I wondered. So, but all our pre-owned lenses, DSLR. right, right, yeah. right, because there's so many of them. Exactly, there's three hundred lenses for the Nikon F. Now. <laughs> That's a lot of lenses. But <laughs> you could get them up. You could pick them up for so inexpensive. Where I, I think there's gonna be some people who. Maybe they don't like electronic viewfinders. Oh, that's true. I've heard that. They're crazy. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah but, uh, I've heard that. I've heard yeah, that, and that's yeah. totally fine. Like, like some studio photographers prefer yes. an OVF yes. optical viewfinder. Yes. So I, DSLRs are still gonna their place, and I'm gonna have customers still wanting it. I, I, I grab a 5D3 anytime I'm doing passport photos because I, I really do like using it with uh, studio strobes. Oh, okay. So there's yeah. different applications. 100%. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, to some okay, level. so are people still coming in and purchasing like the Canon Digital Rebel or the Nikon D3000 series, 7000 yeah, series? Like, yeah, we're like, like we still have the, the latest ones, the T7 by Canon. Yeah. It's 3500 and now they, those are manufactured to death. It's the same body style for the past five right, years. Right. But they do add nice new updates. Right. And uh, okay, you can, for three ninety nine, you get a T seven, <laughs> okay, two lenses in right. a free bag, and free memory card. You're ready to shoot for less than four hundred dollars. 
Right. That's great for somebody starting out, or maybe even like a teenager who's getting yeah, into photography, definitely. which we have. Coming. Click a mom that doesn't want it, like, right. yeah, don't want, wants to keep it on the on the DL, right? Uh, <laughs> it, right. Yeah, it, those are great. We're, like we're, we're we're seeing less in that segment. We're seeing more. Hey, let's bump that price point up to nine ninety nine. Let's get you a Z fifty. Let's yes. get you a six thousand. Let's get you a Fuji X two thirty. So we're seeing our average ticket rise, right? And that. That segment's not growing, really, right. for us. I, yeah, because I couldn't imagine it, that it would. But, okay, so that this has to mean that trade-in values are going to go down. Right, so there's kind of an offset where, especially around the holidays, if you do trade-in, some people will be surprised. This is a little lower than I thought, but 95% of my inventory is on sale. So, you know, if you're not getting that extra $100, $200 you wanted out of your trade-in, it's probably going to come off yeah. on the new camera. Uh, any way you slice it, it comes it's, from somewhere. Yeah. Right, right. But, uh, yeah, like, we're, in any new release, we're going to see, like, we, we just saw the new Fuji X-Pro3, mm -hmm. awesome camera, I take a look at that today. Um, they're, you know, we're going to see an influx of X-T2s and X-T2s yes. X and yes. stuff like that towards that. So, it's a it's, it's a shifting market, and, uh, you know, selling used gears on your own is tough. Like, please, you know, try Facebook or try locally. We just had a horror story on eBay where we sold a Fuji X-T2. The guy made an account the day before he bought it and said he never got the camera and he won the case. We had a, I was on the phone for three and a half oh hours. Gosh. My dad and I tried oh to win gosh. this case. So eBay's, ugh, we, yeah. Yeah, we're done with just that. let the professionals handle it. I yes. always say you can sell it yourself, but it's going to take time and effort. I would much rather just bring it in here to you and have you deal with it than Yeah, like we're open on this. Like, 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 like if you bring it in and just say, hey, I want to be here, we'll try to get there. Right, That's right. Cool. You'll do the best you can for sure. And we launched a new website today too. <gasps> Your website looks amazing. Yeah, Tell us about it. We have ymcamera.com, our new redesigned website. It's a lot easier to search for gear now and uh, everything's more categorized. But actually, even Heather doesn't know this, we launched a newer website called usedclicks.com. Oh. So it's actually going to be a place where all our pre-owned inventory lives. <gasps> and it's going to be updated Probably every every six hours. New, new so gear. you previously did not have your used gear on. I right? did, but it wasn't updated off. Oh, got it. Okay. So, okay. and this is a way where everything that is used in my, my site, um, I'm in store is going to be right on the site, usedclicks.com, and it's it's really cool. So, oh, so if we yeah wow. we, yeah so it's a, it's a good way. It's the same wine wine camera experience. We got the new website for all of your accessories, but pre-owned flashes, pre-owned film cameras. Mirrorless, DSLR, lenses, open box items. It's really cool. That's fantastic. Okay, can we just, um, since we're here, take yeah. a minute to educate <laughs> everyone on how this use works because you sell it for a certain price. Here's my fear that somebody will go onto your site, see a used 70 to 200, and come in and say, <laughs> yeah, I'm with the price of Correct. It. Yeah. That's not how it works. They have to make money on the gear. Right. It, yeah, and we, we have a set margin for certain items, and we're not looking for a home run. But you have home, to be able to sell it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, like the big thing is, like, especially when you buy used gear from me, you get a warranty for 45 days. So, you know, and please, if you're going to get you, bring it back within that time period. We'll get your money back, or we'll give you something else. But I, I have to pay you to warranty that for 45 days. Right, right. So it's just something where it's peace of mind. Right. And now for $50... For any piece of gear, you get a two-year drop warranty on. Oh, used gear. nice! Not because, fifty bucks. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Because you guys are dropping your gear all the time anyway. I mean, yeah. I'm always <laughs> dropping my gear. So, um, listen, if I'm if I'm somebody watching this, I, I this is what I would be thinking. Oh, I need to go home and unload some of that gear. I would be thinking it's time to bring it in and unload it before it loses more value. <laughs> is that is that proper thinking or is that flawed logic? That I mean, it is. I mean, like. I just Nikon just showed itself. They were doing the D six ten, which they just officially discontinued on Monday for eight ninety nine with a free fifty one eight with a free battery rip and a, and a free Wi Fi module. So if you came in brought a D six ten in and I got a new one on the shelf with a grip and a lens right. and a memory right. card and an adapter, what can I sell that used yeah, for? So, yeah, yeah. so definitely uh, something to consider. Something to consider. And like if you have a D thirty two hundred. Yeah. The new ones are two lenses, a free bag, and a memory card for three ninety nine. So it's like, what would you honestly? You can't give someone fifty dollars for a D thirty two hundred, right? I mean, it's very low. We would pay. We have a lot of lenses. We could kit up with it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So right. like, like I, you'd be more than fifty. Yeah. For that for sure. But still, but don't, but don't think that if you see it used, that that's what you're going to get because there's a margin involved. Right. So yeah. I thought we would take the opportunity to educate. No, everyone. it's interesting. I, I, I do a lot of pre-owned trading. Says my father. Says, so does our other guy, Rich here. 
and it's we're real open to just say hey you know and and, and if you pass we'll say here's what you should list it for yeah and, and we'll yeah. kind of give you the tools to sell it we want to make this as easy as fun as possible so we're focused on getting you the right camera and i have actually watched them downsell people on lenses and cameras because they knew what they were trying to purchase wasn't the right fit yeah like i've watched you guys ask questions and then somebody wants to spend more money and you actually sell them something less than they wanted to spend which says a lot to your integrity and right you like we're yeah we're you know we're not here for the home run, home run sale and high fives afterwards we're just here to just you know service service yeah and, and like uh, like my favorite thing about our company is we offer a real easy return program you know within 30 days just exchange it i, I think it's 10 days for cash back but we were always flexible on that I'd, our return rate is so low because we have so many questions. We figure out what you want. We, we actually get, we never push in one direction. We Which just... is why you can be so <laughs> generous with that return policy because it's low yeah. because you educate. Right. right. Yeah, I only have a charger stocking fee in five years. Like, I don't care. Just bring it back if you don't like it. Right, we'll right, give right. Us like. <laughs> and you, you guys ship really fast too. So people can order this used gear yeah. now online. There's just no excuse that like... I say to the Flourish Academy, and especially the members, I'm like, you will purchase from YM Camera. Don't go to Amazon or anywhere else. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> because they're shipping just as fast. They have all the gear, and new gear is always price fixed. So if you find it cheaper, it's gray market. It's probably gray market. <laughs> so it might not be legal if you buy it from there. Is there anything else we want to add to that mirrorless discussion? We have an upcoming class on mirrorless. Yeah, we've. Uh, Terry, uh, Terry is yeah. teaching that. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it's cool. It's it's something where get in your hands. Uh, uh, rent them. For me, anywhere, just you know, just shoot them for a weekend. Uh, I think there's just some game changing features in there where eye autofocus and body image stabilization, and people really seem to fall in that fall in love with that electronic viewfinder. And for doing video, you're already on mirrorless, so yeah, and if you aren't, you're crazy. And I saw this. someone say, one of my friends said that she doesn't like the electronic viewfinder, that's fine, yeah. And I, I wasn't crazy about it at first, I think it takes some getting used to. It's a whole new game, it's yeah. because it's different, it's not the same thing. But once you get used to it, and you really start to master the camera, you will find that you are shooting better exposures. You are photographing fewer photos to get the photo that you want. You're doing faster editing because you're getting it right in camera on the first try. I know. I, I love I love the electronic viewfinder. It was a love hate. Uh, my first uh, mirrorless camera was the Fuji X Pro 2, mm -hmm. and that has an optical viewfinder option. I was using that more. Yeah. But then as I started doing that EVF, especially since I love black and white, yeah, seeing the world through black and it. white yeah, is right, so nice. Right. You can set your contrast in camera. You can set your sharpness. And, and it looks amazing. I know. I love, I, I love looking through uh, mirrorless viewfinder, but it's something definitely someone could pick up and say, this doesn't feel like my old, my favorite pair of jeans. You know right, I mean? right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, can I do just real quick, last thing. I'm okay. Fun. I don't care. If I came in here and I said to you, I have a budget of uh, between $1,000 and $1,500. I want to buy a mirrorless. I like to photograph people. Where would you start me out? So $1,000. Do you have any lenses? No lenses? No lenses. Let's just say no lenses. That's a just an interesting price point. Uh, we could definitely go Fuji XT30, which would be good. Yeah. You can get like the 18 to 55 kit, which is good lens around like I think 1300 right now. Um, one super sale they have going on is Sony's predecessor of the A7 III, A7 II. Okay. Is 899 body only. It's full frame. Okay. Yeah. And it, you get a 50 millimeter on there. Maybe you get an 85. Right. We're, we're gonna bump that budget up a little, a little bit. bit. We're, we're, we're <laughs> That's what there. happens. Yeah. Uh, or even Z50. Just because, That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly, because you can get the adapter, yeah, and then just get a 50 millimeter. I'm gonna use the part with like 100 bucks. Right, right. And then you're you have a camera with eye autofocus. Right. A touch screen. It's so nice. It's awesome. Uh, what's that? They have two kits with that camera. There's one that's a thousand, right? And that then one that's 1,200. Okay, so even at 1,200, a 1,200 dollar price point, it's a complete system for if if somebody doesn't have anything, yeah. and they're coming in and they're saying, I want to start with mirrorless. And in, in, in on Nikon's roadmap. The next ten lens releases, the only like one of them is for uh, the DSLR mount, F mount. <gasps> really, they're all for mirrorless. It's crazy. So yeah, yeah like I mean, they're they put all their chips in there. Do you happen to know off the top of your head what the first one they're going to release next year is? Uh, seventy two hundred is the first one. Okay. Uh, that's coming up. My friend, my best friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they have all your your. your yeah, your, I like, but I want the Tamron version. Parser. Yeah. Yeah, Tamron version's gonna yeah. be sick when that comes out. Yeah. And then we have a uh, I. They have a two eight wide, because so oh. they'll have uh -huh. two point eight of, of like fourteen to twenty four. Yes, okay. Twenty four seventy okay. seventy two hundred. Got it. Um, Which covers them all those ranges. And they have yeah. a macro coming out, a two hundred to six hundred. 
So a nice, nice wildlife yes. run, and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And, and, and then they have, um, uh, and they're gonna have the D6. That's gonna be their last really crazy good F mount DSLR camera. Oh. Uh, and that one's launching with a 120 to 300 f 2.8. What? So if you get 10, it's, that's, it, they're rumoring out you're around 14,000. So if you order that from me, you will get a free t-shirt. Uh, so be, <laughs> that's how generous ready. you are. I'm very right? generous. If you order that from me, I'll, I'll, I'll pull out all the stuff. <laughs> as soon as you said that, 100, 100 to 300? Is that 120 what you said? to 300. 120? 2.8. 2, 8. 2 8. It's crazy. I would love that for weddings. For the be in the back of a big cathedral. <laughs> you would be it on a so tripod. It's, it's gonna so be crazy. Heavy. So you can't carry it. Yeah, so you're gonna see yeah, okay, okay. And you're gonna see in February, you're gonna see Canon, Nikon, and maybe Sony all release pro like these crazy pro tier lenses. You're gonna see six hundred F fours and it's all for Summer Olympics. Oh, okay. Oh, right, so right, you're right. going to see okay, all sports. the crazy yeah, yeah. sports gear. Those big February. lenses. February, yeah. March is going to be a huge announcement to sports photographer. But those mirrorless lenses are so much lighter, right? They're just, they don't. Yeah, have... but there's like no crazy. Like oh, Sony's the only one who has a 400 yeah. 28 and a 600 f What is their 400 28 cost? Uh, like 10 5. <laughs> Oh, no big deal. No big deal. I can I'll get just, one. I'll just pick that up. I'm going to buy that <laughs> high-end Sony camera and that lens. And you'll, be good. Yeah. Right. you'll be good. Yeah. You'll be the, you'll be up. Just <laughs> under 20000 Thank you so much for your time. Of we course. really I appreciate love, your knowledge. I love talking videos yeah. with you. It's okay. Fun. We'll see you in the next video.